Well, hello, everybody. Uh, this is Kevin Brown, Superintendent of Schools. I hope you're doing well uh, and that you are off to a great October so far. Uh, the point of my message to you today is really to frame things in our district in, in kind of a big picture framing uh, that I think is important for everybody to understand. As you recall, in 2008, we developed a strategic plan, and at the top of that was our mission statement and our beliefs and our six strategies that we were going to follow. And those are things that we continue to follow today. Our mission hasn't changed. Our beliefs haven't changed. Those are things that we will have for a long, long time. Uh, within that, though, after we have completed that uh, strategic plan, we developed our profile of a learner last year. And we've had that now for a year. And the profile, as you know, is really about explaining who we are and what we aspire to be for all of our learners in Alamo Heights, not only the students, but our teachers, our administrators, board members, everybody. And those are things that are more about being than they are about doing. One of those components of the profile of a learner is developing a healthy sense of self. And that's a focus in our school district that I think in many ways is unique compared to even other places. And that is we know that for our children to be successful when they leave high school, they've got to uh, have that healthy sense of self. That's really a life skill for them. They've got to be able to uh, communicate and collaborate, but they also have to know who they are and they have to be vulnerable, they have to speak with humility, they have to be healthy people and well-rounded people. Well, last spring, uh, I uh, assigned a task force. In the midst of tragedy, our task force was to really look at three areas in social and emotional issues with digital citizenship and with character education. All of those three things fit within that develop, uh, developing a healthy sense of self. So on Monday, during our staff development time, we're going to be looking at those issues, social emotional issues, character education, digital citizenship. But I wanted to frame that for you because it fits within our profile of a learner, which also fits within our original strategic plan and our mission and who we are and what we aspire to be as a school district. Um, you know this. Academics are incredibly important in this community, and we have to focus on getting our kids academically prepared. But none of that matters if, at the end of the day, they're not good people, if they don't have that healthy sense of self. And it's up to us to help develop that. It starts at home. We have got to have our parents as a part of this. We can't do it by ourselves, and I certainly understand that. But I'm looking forward to the work that we continue to do with our task force recommendations. And I think they'll help us to be a better school district. And more importantly, they'll help our children to be better people. So I wanted to share that with you. The last thing, and this is separate from that issue, is that uh, most recently we've been highlighted in a, in a magazine, a national magazine, as an innovative school district in our country. Uh, the Convergence Center, which is a group that we've been working with, profiles some of the most innovative school districts in the United States. One of the things that we're doing as a district, many things we're doing in the district, but one of those is our engaged classrooms, which also fall within our profile of a learner. And, uh, and so it's really neat to have national recognition for the work that you're doing uh, in the classrooms. And so I just want to say thanks for all of that. I hope this message helped you have a better understanding of the big picture. You may have already had that, but if you didn't, hopefully this helped. Thanks for everything you're doing. Have a great October. Happy Halloween. And I'll see you next month. Thank you.